The constitutional amendments on the April ballot relate to whether or if defendants can get bailed out of jail. But viewers have reached out saying the wording is confusing. The lengthy questions both relate to the process of setting bail after a defendant is first charged. You are 100% in charge of your life and your decisions. I'm going to order $300 cash bail. What we're trying to do is reform the bail system. State Man, Senator Van Wangard says a yes vote on question one would allow judges to consider the need to protect the community from, quote, serious harm, not just the threat of bodily harm. Under current Wisconsin law, when they set bail, judges and court commissioners are limited to consider only whether the person is likely to return to court. Wangard says a yes vote on question two would change that for people charged with violent crimes. Public safety, the seriousness of the crime, flight risk, past criminal convictions, intimidation of witnesses, all those things can be considered by the judge now when they're setting those, those bails. He says the Waukesha Parade tragedy was a catalyst for the change after it was learned driver Daryl Brooks was free on $1,000 bail on domestic violence charges at the time. It's a big deal to amend the Constitution. One would like to think that you amend it in a way that really solves a problem. And this doesn't really solve a problem. Prominent local defense attorney Craig Mastantuno says, well, it may not be spelled out now in state law, court commissioners and judges already consider the seriousness of the offense, prior records, the danger to the public, and the defendant's ability to pay when they set bail. In practice, that happens, it seems like, doesn't it? It happens all the time. Uh, judges always consider a totality of the circumstances and commissioners when setting bond. The questions are binding, so if they are approved, they'll become Wisconsin law. At the Milwaukee County Jail, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.